just coming up here, I'm the comfort captain for today. So if you need any help or if you just lost, I can come sort of, I can assist you. Also, we have stations and we try to make it as easy as possible. We have station one, which is the registration, station two, which is gonna be your training, and station three is where you get your light bulbs and you get your toolkits and you go out. But what we're gonna do when we get off the bus is that we have individual captains um, sort of staggered around. And what you wanna do is you wanna make a team of four. And then from there, you'll go off and start the registration process. Like so um, I'll stop talking and everybody, we can get to work. Yeah. All right? Let's go team leaders, go ahead and get some people on your team. How you doing, brother? Oh, campus progress. Woo-hoo! <laughs> the field is starting the light bulbs. The red team's gonna be the leadership group. We'll be going up to see going around with the red tags on. Ask them any questions that you have. These are the leaders out here today. Now, your team consists of a captain, a street manager, harvest team leaders, and the members. All right, guys. Like my friend Marcus said, I am Shane, and I am a representative of LRAM. The acronym stands for Let's Raise a Million. And what we are is a student-led organization that our goal is to distribute a million light bulbs, like these, compact fluorescent light bulbs, that will save energy to communities of limited incomes. Um, so far, we've distributed about 12,000. Um, so, you know, we're well on our way. Uh, who you are is a part of our harvest teams. What our harvest team's goal is to collect old, dirty light bulbs from the homes in this community and exchange them for energy-saving, compact fluorescent light bulbs. I'm Marcus Penny. I'm a senior psychology major at Morehouse College. Um, I, it was, I guess it was a conversation um, spawned off of, um, really the root of it was environmental justice. Um, I guess the way the story's kind of told is, um, we have an organization called SEED, which is uh, Students um, for Enlightened Environmental Decisions. And it's, it was started at Morehouse um, by Tony, myself, and another gentleman, Richard Merritt. Um, and actually, Tony had went to a, um, a summit and um, he had received a compact for us in light bulb and that kind of sparked the idea. So he kind of came to me and we um, started discussing different ways we could actually implant this into our communities because we started, you know, learning facts like um, our communities are most affected by uh, asthma rates. And so when you look at, when you look at where does, where does, what's the connection between asthma and the light bulb? Well, for the, the light, the, when, it, when you're dealing with energy efficiency, energy comes from uh, coal-fired power plants, especially here in Atlanta. And that's one of the big problems. And so um, these power plants put out um, enormous amounts of, of particulate matter, and that's where the asthma comes from. And then you look at, well, where are these where are these plants placed? Well, they're placed in our communities, and so that's why we kind of come in and hit and really focus on using modest means and deserving families to kind of try to help that out. So there's an environmental justice element, also with the whole idea of energy conservation. This bag at the third station, you're going to get this bag. You're also going to get a step ladder, and you're going to get a big IKEA bag full of light bulbs. Please make sure you check in with station three. We have to make sure you have signed out the team out uh, page. We got to know which uh, teams are out um, in the field, okay? So team leaders, please check in at uh, station three. Thank you. A lot of mixed reactions, um, a lot of distrust. Um, because whenever you're coming to the door with something for free, every, nothing, nothing's free. Enough. Nothing's for free. Exactly. So when you come to these doors, everybody's kind of like, right. well, what, what's really the motive? Who are you guys working for? Why are a bunch of students coming to my door? But um, after we kind of sit down and, and talk to them, um, they tend to kind of open up, and everybody's really appreciative, and they actually learn a little something. But the biggest thing is save money. That's what we, that's what we open up. That's what we start to get in the homes and say, this is saving money. Then we start the green conversation to spark the idea of, oh, well, this is also what it does, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was us that came by your house. Oh, really? Okay, so we're with Let's Raise a Million Project. And have you ever heard of these light bulbs? Yeah, I think I've seen something like that advertised. Okay, well, these are free, and we are offering to exchange every single light bulb in your house for these ones. I think things went really well. I think that uh, it's a beautiful day on Sunday here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, communities were very receptive. 
uh, very welcoming. We had some guys come out and throw the football around with us and share with Frisbee. Uh, and those things, I think, is what built community. And I think that's what this is about, you know, starting the conversation, going green, and everyone can do it. That's a good thing y'all doing, man, you know, because they, they really need this in the neighborhood, man. And I, re I appreciate y'all coming out doing this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I've been from the neighborhood. I've been around here a long time, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when I get a chance to help somebody, I help somebody. That's right. I think the biggest thing is to support each other. Because one thing I learned, especially from this conference, is that there's so many great ideas out there. And especially, you know, in, in the world we're living in right now, um, great ideas can be mass marketing. You can reach out to a lot of people through the internet, through t t cell phones, you know. I mean, even if you just went through text messaging an idea to everybody, you touch yeah. so many people. Facebook and everything. So, if you have a great idea, definitely share it and support other great ideas, and then together we will.